G'day guys, Ron here from Osborne Digital Marketing. Today, I have a Google Business Profile hack so you can easily post more valuable, insightful content on your Google Business Profile so you can help to get it ranking and put things up a lot easier. Let's jump into it. Go over and check it out, ranklightning.com. Now, if you're not on the wait list, I would suggest that you get on it. And the reason for that is you'll be grandfathered into the price. You will be grandfathered into the price. You'll never, ever, ever get a price that is better than what we will give you when we launch it. So if you want to see some of the cool features that are already on it, why don't you just scroll down and have a cheeky look at ranklightning.com. Awesome, guys. Let's do it. Now, creating a lot of Google business profile posts is so annoying. I'm not going to lie. Creating Google business profile posts can be extremely time consuming and annoying. So I figured, hey, why not create a sheet that does all the work for you? Now I'm going to explain what I do, what I've created. I'm going to show you how you can set it up yourself and just how awesome it actually is. So first things first, what on earth have I got here? Now you're going to notice that this is an automation spreadsheet. So there's a couple of things that you will need. Now the biggest, thing for me, so extensions, you're going to notice that there's a few extensions here on my G sheets. You'll see that there's a GPT for sheets and you'll see that there's a thing called sheet magic. Now sheet magic is the one that I am actually using. The sheet magic is the one I'm using today. It's the one I've been using for quite a few months now and I absolutely love it. Now, as an example, I'm in my Google Sheets. You're sitting here going, all right, Ronald, you know, like I'm guessing what I, I know what's going to happen here, but show me the magic. Let me give you a couple of tips first. The reason I like doing this is because typically when I launch a website, I try to have a few blogs to support every single money page on it. You know, so as an example, let's say you're a roofer, work with a lot of roofers. Let's say you're a roofer, you're talking about shingle roof repair, Fort Lauderdale as an example. Or even let's just say roof repair. We will try to create at least for the roof repair, the main topic, maybe about five to 10 blogs to support that one page. Then when it comes down to roof repair for Lauderdale, it'll be three to five, normally around in there, depending upon how hard the keyword is. Just as an example, that's the structure that I like running with. Then you're sitting there going, okay, that's cool. But what about the Google business profile? How can we create some more gusto, make something happen there? Well, if I've just created just for those two money pages, let's just say there's maybe 15 blogs. Well, how can I get a cheeky link to those? And how do I make sure that my Google business profile ties in with my website? Why don't I create some blogs or Google business profile posts that are on point? So this is what I do. So you'll notice here, here's the keywords. All right, here's the keywords that you can input. Here's the URLs of my blogs on the Osborne Digital Marketing site. This can be whatever it is for you. So I would do, with this structure, let me walk you through the sheet. So you can see business name, Osborne Digital Marketing, business location, we've got the Addy, we've got the phone number, we've got the website, we've got the description, we've got the areas we serve. Now you can change this very easily, okay, very easily. And the USP is a unique selling point, all right? So the USP is a unique selling point. So as an example here, this is what all of the information that you want to input. So again, guys, you'll be able to grab this sheet and just change it out for yourself. I'm obviously not giving you <laughs> the access when it comes to my, <laughs> my sheet magic. You, you'll have to go get your own, but it's going to be exactly the same sort of layout for you. Now, the biggest thing is the prompt, all right? So what you're going to notice is here is the prompt. You can create whatever prompt you want. You can tweak this, you can adjust it, you can do whatever you need to do, all right? Make edits where you need to, it has to be done. The biggest thing for me when it comes to this type of stuff is the prompts. Now, what I find with the prompt that I've got now, as long as you use the titles of the whole page, the prompt will work better. So I'm actually going to show you an example of what would happen if there's another, if I use the whole, like the whole title as an example, because I want to show you just how good this can be when it's just very easy like this. Because this is easy. Like how easy is this for me? So let me show you what I do. First thing we're going to need to do is just copy the prompt. 
So come into here, into this cell directly underneath. This is where our output's going to go. And I go equals AI. And again, depending upon what thing you get, it might be different. But guys, it's very easy to use this and quite cheap. And it's a lot easier to manage as well. That's why I love doing this. So then I'm going to paste in my prompt. I'm just going to come over here and put quotation marks there. And you'll see with this formula, you'll see it's looking at every section here to pull in all of this data to create it. So then you'll see that it's looking, okay, well, this is the main keyword. This is going to be the keyword as an example. So I'm just going to hit enter. And then all I need to do is grab this and scroll down. Now, obviously the way it's set up is it'll go from, you know, cell A11 to cell A12. Like it, that will do it naturally, but this stuff's locked in. So you don't need to sit there and be like, oh, no, it's not even grabbing the name. You don't need to do that. Now, generally speaking, how long does this take? A couple of minutes. It doesn't take that long. So as an example, you can see that it started to pull this stuff in. So I'm going to grab the notebook so you can have a look at a few for you. So here's one of the posts. Hi, hi there. I'm Ronald Osborne, the founder of Osborne Digital Marketing, located, blah, blah, blah. One of the incredibly power. Did you know 90% of online experiences? That's not too bad. You know, like it's creating something. It's creating something. Now, the biggest thing for me is I like looking at this and being like, oh, an effective SEO roofing SEO strategy, All right? So you can have a look at that and be like, okay, well, look at that post. But then if we come down here, grab this one, go back to this, paste this up here. Now you'll notice, so if I paste this into here, you'll notice that this is a little bit more on point, okay? Like all keywords. So like that's why I gave you the two examples. I used the whole title, the H1 of the article for this one, the bottom one here, and this one was just roofing SEO. You can see, yeah, it does talk about roofing a couple of times and roofing SEO, but this is just a little bit more relevant to roofing. You know, you can see each section that essentially is talking about roofing, throws in like what we've done, blah, blah, blah. It's got the USP. Now, is it a little bit noisy in some areas? Yeah, it is. But guys, this is just a fantastic thing for you to just roll in and create a heap of Google business profile posts effortlessly. Like how easy was that? And the thing is, it's still commercially focused. It's still, oh yeah, roofing SEO specializes in, our team specializes in roofing SEO. It's the same sort of stuff we're going to write. If you want to post, have a post going up every day, it can be quite challenging to write all that stuff. So the biggest thing that I do here, now we have all of this, but we do this at the start of the campaign. So we actually will have clients data, we'll have all of this, sorry, Google business profile posts ready to go for the whole campaign, basically. We can plan out, we plan out in quarters, but if you were to sit here and be like, right, I've done all my blogs, I've done all of this, here's all my money pages, here's all my blogs, then you can just go nuts. And this is why we have the date section because I can come in here and be like, you know, 1st of April as an example, 24. Yeah, that's when it was launched. Done. So you know that it's all done. That's how simple it is. Now, if you want to make it more, you know, tweaked and unique, I'm not I'm not crazy when it comes to the prompts. But this is just the output that I've I've found has been pretty good for me so far. I haven't found that there's any like major issues with it. Biggest thing that I would be concerned about with this is just make sure that you're checking it. Like with all things AI guys, don't just, if it's your thing, fine. If it's a client's, just make sure that you are reading that because there are parts of it that's a little bit, you know, nonsensical. But you want to make sure that overall your prompt's good to go. Then, you, then you're able to link in this, a relevant Google business profile post in with that link as well. You're keeping your Google business profile post active, which is super, super important. Google wants to see that there's some activity behind it. Do I recommend doing this every single day? If you've got a big website and you've got a lot of blogs, why not? You can always repeat it. That's the thing. You can repeat this whole process, change out that keyword slightly. One thing that I would suggest if you do grab this stuff is just make sure you're copy and pasting this in so you don't rerun your credits. So, because if I like refresh this page as an example, it might clear the cache and these might need to run again. 
So if you clear the cache, nah, beautiful. They've changed it. So it used to be if you refreshed it, all of this would go. So painful. But sometimes, um, what was it? The GPT sheet one, I think did it constantly. A GPT for sheets. Wow, that was annoying. <laughs> so just make sure this is a great way. Like guys, just make sure that you've copied this. You control shift and v it in so you copy it all Control shift v removes all the functions so you can see this here right ai if i go copy Control shift v it removes that uh prompt now see so now it's the actual post if you do that on the whole set like it'll never change it's here permanently if you don't and you leave it like this if i you know refresh or something like that i can i can change the post the post will be rewritten you don't want that so just make sure you're keeping that in mind as well because that's a negative thing that you will run into uh but that's pretty much it guys you should know how to post on google business profiles easily now this will make sure that you can get a lot of google business profile posts out that you can easily link a google business post post into a topic you're talking about like i said fort lauderdale roof repair all of this stuff's linking in. Google wants to see all that. They love it. They love it seeing all of that stuff linking together. Make sure you go over and sign up for Rank Lightning. Rank Lightning, guys. Link will be down below. Have a lovely day. Like and subscribe. Put some comments down below. Cheers.